Step 9. In step 9, I'll be using our information to answer the C part of the question. The C part of the question is asking me to evaluate value-based management measure against the traditional profit-based measures of performance. As I said, when I talk about evaluate, evaluate means we need to talk about the pros and also we need to talk about the cons. So what I did here is that I pick our VBM and some of the pros I said VBM is more superior to profit measurements because of the adjustment. Adjustment actually moves out very close to cash flows. I went further to say that anytime we talk about profit measures, profit measures uses a lot of accounting adjustment like depreciation, and therefore it can actually be manipulated. Whereas VBM adjustment takes out very close to cash flows, therefore not easily to be manipulated. These are some of the things I can talk about the pros. Now, I can talk about some of the cons here. In a cons here, we say that, look, anytime we're using EVA, EVA, we need to calculate our work. Our work calculation will ask us to calculate our cost of equity. Our cost of equity will be based on CAPM. CAPM has got a lot of assumptions, and most of these assumptions in CAPM are not practical. I'm also saying that one of the things that EVA does is EVA, just like profit measures, encourages short-termism. Now, remember, that is for four marks. For four marks, and if I write these ones, I believe that I'll score a minimum of four over four.